Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 5th of 2024 is titled A Black Hole Disrupts a Passing Star. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an artist's conception image showing what would happen as a star gets too close to a black hole. Now, black holes do not behave like cosmic vacuum cleaners. They don't suck everything in. That's actually a common misconception about them. However, they do have very strong gravity, but its effects are only noticed if you get really close to it. Otherwise, it acts just like any other object with the similar amount of mass. So were our sun to turn into a black hole of exactly the same mass it has right now? Well, guess what? It would get cold here and it would get dark, but the Earth would continue to orbit around that black hole sun just as it does now. It would not change the Earth's orbit. However, when you get close enough, you can actually get close enough that tidal forces kick in and could rip a star apart like this. So here we see that example as a star passes too close. Now, if the star were to hit the black hole directly, and enter the black hole, we wouldn't see anything. Once you cross what we call the event horizon, then no information can get out of the black hole. It is impossible because it would have to travel faster than light and no information can travel faster than light. So there's no way for anything to get out of there no matter what happens inside the event horizon. So if a star went straight into a black hole, it would just disappear and be gone. However, if it comes close to the black hole, that's when the very interesting things happen. The material starts to get pulled apart and stretched outward, so the star would get torn apart. It would form an accretion disk of material around the black hole. So much of the material would orbit around the black hole and then slowly spiral in. And this is where we really see the energy coming from a black hole. Nothing comes out of the black hole itself, but that material material around it being accelerated to extremely high speeds by the intense gravity close to the black hole, then through frictional forces can can convert the material in the accretion disk directly into energy and give off a lot of energy there. In fact, far more energy given off in something like this than in the nuclear reactions that fuel a star. There only a tiny fraction of a percent of matter is created, uh, sorry, is converted into energy. In this case, really, you're converting a much higher percentage, uh, maybe 10 or even 20% of the mass is being converted to energy in this intense environment. And that gives off a lot more um, energy coming out. And that would allow it to emit things like x-rays, which are how we can detect black holes. When we see an object out there that we can't detect, but giving off x-rays or a stellar like object giving off x-rays, we often know that there may be a black hole associated with it that we simply cannot see. Because again, black holes are really only detectable through their gravitational effects. So if another star were orbiting a black hole, we could pick that up by getting seeing that star orbiting apparently around nothing. Or if material is being accreted into the black hole and giving off energy before it crosses that event horizon, then we would be able to detect that source of energy. But once anything crosses that event horizon, it is gone. There is no more information about it available within our universe. So that was our picture of the day for May 5th of 2024. It was titled, A Black Hole Disrupts a Passing Star. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.